Welcome back for another episode of Learn to Earn. And today we are going to actually take that letter that we created in the previous video and we're going to use it in Microsoft Word to create a mail merge with your list, with your mailing list. So this is what you need. Number one, you need your letter to be in Microsoft Word because we're going to build the mail merge in Microsoft Word. Number two, you're going to need your, uh, your Excel list, your Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So if it's already, if it's in Google Sheets, download it because we're going to, you probably could have it in CSV format or even an Outlook format, but we're going to go with Microsoft Excel. Make sure you have first name, last name, address, city, state, and zip. Then what we're going to do is we are going to create the mail merge in Microsoft Word and we're going to create some labels. So we're going to leverage ChatGTP. We built the letter and now we're going to create a mailer so you can start getting business. Let's begin. You've got your letter. You're ready to go. So just remember, you need your letter and your Excel spreadsheet. If it's on Google, download it, save it as Microsoft Excel. First, that, first things first, click mailings in Microsoft Word and then choose start mail merge. And I'm going to go with, just go with the wizard, step-by-step -step mail, mer mail merge wizard. Over to the right, we're creating a letter. We're going to choose start document. Then we're going to select the recipients and then we're going to browse on our computer. So I have a fake spreadsheet just because you don't really want to see all my clients, right? Maybe you do. And so now here's our spreadsheet. We choose OK. We have our entire list. We choose OK again. And then we need to choose write our letters. Now, before we write our letters, there's a few other things you want to do is you might want to add the mailing address up here at the top, a professional letter, right? So we choose address block. Okay. Then I might even want to add the seller's actual name. So instead of home seller, we're going to highlight this in our backspace, put in a, a space, in between dear, and then we go up to insert merge field, first name, space, insert last name. Then we're good. No space after last name. And then we choose at the bottom, preview the letters. When you preview the letters, you're like, oh, Carrie, that doesn't look great. First of all, make sure you've capitalized everybody's name. Up at the top, I want to highlight my mailing address because I want this to be I don't want any spaces. So I highlight it and then I go back home and I choose no spacing. So before we complete the mail merge, double check things. If you notice that people's names aren't spelled correctly, you can go back to your spreadsheet and you can literally just close this and start over so you can fix it. Don't panic. And then I'm going to put a space after the, the date. Now, some people put, you might even put the date right above the address. It depends on how you write your letter. So we'll do that. We'll get rid of this. There we go. Looks professional. You might even, my really savvy folks, you might even reference the home address. So you would go back to mailings and then choose mail merge and then choose the just the address of the property. I mean, how cool is this? And we're finished. Now that you're finished, the letter looks great. It, it, the layout is the way you want. We're on one page. You go down to the bottom, choose complete the mail merge, and then you edit the individual letters. I swear this needs to be a number seven. I didn't build this. Choose OK. And there you go. We have five clients that we're going to mail to today. And you choose file print and you print these out. And then... You might also want to make mailing labels. Now, the truth be told, handwriting envelopes can be great, but you're like, you know what? I've got 100. We're not doing that. So now you choose File New, Blank Document, and we're going to create a mail merge, start the mail merge, step-by-step -step wizard, and we're going to create labels. We're going to choose, go through one through six, carries one through seven. Label options. I like Avery 5160. You could you don't have to use Avery 5160, but that is the standard 30 labels per sheet. Click OK. 
Again, you can get Staples version, Office Depot, Uline, you name it. You choose select the recipients, browse. They're on my, here are my downloads, my fake list. Click OK. Looks good. Choose OK. And now we need to insert the merge fields. So we're going to choose insert, first name, space, insert, last name, choose enter. I'm going to insert the address, enter. We're going to fix this. Insert city, comma, space, insert state, space, space. You could debate that with me later. We're looking good. Highlight it because I just want this to be no spaces. Looks good. If you're like me and you're like, Carrie, I just want that to be in the center. You could do that. You could also, I, I did a space and then click enter. Looks great. This is how I want it to look when I print out the labels. Then bottom right, arrange the labels, update all labels, gold. Preview the labels and then you will also um, complete the merge and then you would in edit the individual labels because if you have one through like 500, you're going to want to do this and click OK. If you don't, you're only going to have 30 labels. And we're done. Boom. I just shared with you from the letter we created with chat GPT. <laughs> you're, you're done. You've got your letters. You've got your labels. Maybe you also printed out your report. So whether it's info sparks, a report from your state or your local association, stuff the envelopes, get it in the mail today. Get it in the mail today. And it's personalized. What more could you ask for? Thanks for watching another episode of Learn to Earn with me. We are leveraging ChatGPT and I didn't even log into ChatGPT because we learned how to create a mail merch. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you come back to watch how to create letters using ChatGPT.